Right now, Chicago's growing graffiti problem. Drivers see it every day on the expressways, even on the recently finished Jane Byrne interchange. CBS 2's Jermont Terry shows us tonight that state officials say they're having trouble keeping up with the taggers. Anyone driving into downtown Chicago can't avoid traffic and this. I don't understand why it's gotten so bad. Graffiti has become the new welcome sign to people at the Jane Byrne interchange. Tony Salvino takes the Edens to the Kennedy Daily. And every day going in and going out, the graffiti compounds. It's getting worse. It's an insult to our city. We first spotted the growing graffiti issues back in 2020. At the time, the interchange was still under construction, so maybe that could explain the excessive tagging. Yet three years later, the new concrete walls are still getting sprayed. Take a look at this one. It's in the middle of the expressway. It does not make Chicago look very good at all. No, IDOT says when graffiti pops up in the middle of a construction zone, there are times when they simply can't get to it because it's simply dangerous. But remember, the taggers, they're getting up there. So IDOT says they have to wait till the construction is over. But much of what we're seeing here along the Jane Byrne and other interstates is in plain view. A lot of these pieces take time to do. It's not like they're whipping it and getting out. There's shading, there's grading, there's color. I'm like, how long are they taking to do this and nobody's busting them? IDOT tells CBS2 graffiti removal is an ongoing problem and something we are working hard to address, saying often when they do remove their graffiti, it pops back up within hours. The state says they're spending hundreds of thousands of dollars a year to remove graffiti, yet the eyesores are becoming more elaborate. The angles that they're getting at, I want to know what time they're doing it at, how they're getting on those angles leaning over. We know IDOT has cameras along the expressways, but it's not clear if those are being used to catch the taggers. But we're told IDOT and the city of Chicago's Department of Streets and Sanitation perform a massive graffiti removal effort just before major holidays and will be performing another one around the upcoming 4th of July holiday. But what will it take to really combat this problem? I think the state police, somebody's got to get involved. Along the Jane Byrne, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News.